Let's start with the facts, shall we? Selena Gomez has an extremely long and verifiable history of instigating drama with the girls her exes, mostly Justin Bieber, have been involved with. Let me break it down for you. In 2012, Justin and model Barbara Palvin took a photo together backstage. This sparked headlines even more so when Selena Gomez retweeted the photo, also directly and subtly sicking her fans on Barbara. About the incident, Barbara is quoted saying, You know how the drama started? Selena retweeted the picture. I'm okay to talk about it because I know there's nothing. It's ridiculous how this got to the news. We were just hanging out, but fans of Jelena thought I caused a big drama, their breakup. Next on the roster, we have Kaylin Russo, who appeared in a few of Bieber's videos during 2013 for his journals record. Kaylin was strictly a model for a video, which is so weird to feel threatened by because Bieber and Gomez have the same occupation and have both hired models for music videos. But after Bieber's video debuted, Selena posted a photo and said, I thought he only liked the Latina category, shaking my head, hashtag no makeup, hashtag hate when girls say that. Kaylin responded in an interview and said, I'm sure there might be bitterness, but I was just doing my job. She posted a picture on Instagram. It was clearly directed at him with me in the video, but like I said, I was just doing my job. Then in 2016, when Justin was linked with Sophia Ritchie, Sophia was getting a ton of hate for nothing. Justin made a public statement asking his fans to be kind. I'm going to make my Instagram private if you guys don't stop the hate. This is getting out of hand. If you guys are really fans, you wouldn't be so mean to people that I like. Then Selena Gomez, who is clearly jealous, randomly adds her two cents in and says, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, lol. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans, they love you. Which is such a weird thing to say when he simply asks his fans to not harass a girl. Her input obviously only fueled the fans even more. And it's even odder hearing that stance coming from Selena Gomez, considering just how much her and Justin's relationship was exploited for publicity. Now all of a sudden it should be private. She also did something similar to Bella Hadid with the weekend situation, where Bella and Abel's relationship appeared to overlap with Abel and Selena's relationship. Bella and Selena unfollowed each other around this time, then in 2019, Selena randomly followed Bella Hadid and commented on one of her pictures. Bella Hadid quickly deleted the photo, probably due to the influx of fans and drama under the photo. Then after Bella deleted the photo, Selena commented on a fan photo in reaction to the deletion and said, that sucks, sad face. Which is just weird, you know? Why would you expect some type of immediate camaraderie with a girl your ex seemingly cheated on for you? And then framing it as some type of women support women scenario, as if Bella's feelings aren't valid. But obviously Bella got attacked for deleting the photo and Selena's comment fueled her fans. And that's another thing, Selena Gomez always undercuts her comments, even if they're aggressive or passive aggressive, with nice words. And what that does is give the appearance of her hands being clean. So people could say, well, she didn't tell her fans to do this. No, she didn't. But she's provoking a reaction and she's planting the seed. Selena Gomez has been in the game long enough that she knows the type of reaction this stuff will cause, especially when it's dealing with people's relationships. That's why I say it's all very meticulous PR on her part. But there's more girls she's done this to, but I just put in some of the major ones. So it didn't surprise me that Selena has once again weaseled her way into making her hands appear clean, because she is a grandmaster of throwing rocks and hiding her hands. And while Hailey Bieber isn't innocent when it comes to the entirety of their long debacle, this instance in particular primarily falls on Selena and her single white femaleing the Biebers. Which by the way, she has been doing practically this entire year, but few people have acknowledged it. Her For You page must be filled to the brand with Justin and Haley because she comments on TikToks concerning them and even full on hate accounts concerning them. And she's been doing this practically the entire year. Even after publicly claiming that she wants to be seen in her own light and not just be seen as the girl who dated Justin Bieber. But at this point, she's coming across as a one-trick pony. She doesn't move like someone who wants to be seen in her own light, and I think it's very meticulous on her part. It serves her PR. 
Selena Gomez has the benefit of being a former Disney star and having nostalgia attached to her for a lot of people. So people will be more receptive to her and her antics. It's easy to dislike Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner and dogpile on them than to acknowledge that Selena Gomez is a very obvious problem and manipulative. A famous person once said, everything is not what it seems, and boy oh boy were they right. And once again, despite releasing a documentary that features a clip of her crying, saying she wants to be good enough on her own, despite releasing music and doing interviews proclaiming that she's over that whole situation and is in a new chapter in her life, despite Justin and Haley being married for what is about to be five years, and I really want to emphasize all of this just so people realize how bizarre this behavior is. Despite Haley speaking her piece and wanting the fan harassment to stop, and Haley and Selena seemingly embracing each other and burying the hatchet, Selena Gomez has been reigniting the Jelena conversation. She's been feeling all these weird narratives that obviously benefit her and send her as a victim. In January, Haley and her friends recorded a popular TikTok sound where it says, I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. A very popular sound that has been trending for years at this point. Some weird fans who are thirsty for drama and for Haley and Selena to be linked forced their own narratives that Haley was body shaming Selena. Which is insane to me how fans can completely instigate nothing into something. But also the world does not revolve around Selena Gomez. Practically everyone on the app uses popular TikTok sounds, but Haley actually was mature in how she handled it. She immediately deleted the video and made it clear that it was not about Selena. So she did in fact try to put a definite end to the mess. And what does Selena do? She blatantly plays into it. A random fan compiled a video speculating that Haley was talking about Selena. And Selena comments under the video and says, It's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. She gave the story credit when it needed none. And just a few months ago, she was commenting under a video that blamed Justin Bieber for her weight loss when she was with The Weeknd during the period of the pictures posted. You know, which is just not right. But she also commented on a video concerning Taylor Swift. But of course, Hailey Bieber was at the center of the video. The video is totally presented out of context. It's five years old. Hailey Bieber doesn't say anything, but she does make gagging faces when Taylor Swift's then album was referenced, because it's a part of a spoof slash parody. I do think it's dramatic to call her a bully over this clip. In fact, I would say it's ridiculous, but Selena Gomez of course commented under this video and said, so sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. And I don't believe for one second that this was actually about defending Taylor Swift. The video is stupid, and it's not something she needed defending against anyway. It's Selena essentially baiting arguably the biggest fan base in the world, Swifties, to join in on her disdain for Haley. Imagine if she had the same energy in defense of the person who gave her an organ, who was getting shitted on a few months ago because Selena didn't acknowledge her. Yet her mega superstar world dominating friend needs defending from a 5 year old video that gags when her album is mentioned. Yeah right. And of course we have the Kylie and Haley situation, which was also instigated by thirsty fans. Selena Gomez posted where she laminated her eyebrows too much. Kylie proceeded to upload a selfie paired with a text that read, this was an accident. And given the placement of the caption, people speculated she was shading Selena's eyebrows. Kylie and Haley also posted a screenshot of them on FaceTime together, which fans took and ran with. Kylie immediately shut it down and said, this is reaching, no shade towards Selena, and I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing, this is silly. Apparently the initial Kylie photo was actually about her blush. Selena Gomez, on the other hand, continued her chaos. She commented I love you on a fan video that called Haley and Kylie mean girls and bitches. She also commented on a video that discussed Jelena and the breakup. She then eventually decided to take a break after the damage has been done and said, I'm going to be taking a second from social media because this is a little silly and I'm 30. I'm too old for this. I'll see you guys sooner than later. I'm just going to take a break from everything. Yeah, you definitely are too old to be this messy. And I wonder what's the end goal in all of this. But Selena went on record saying she's dropping new music and maybe this is to drum up PR in her new music. 
And TikTok is the perfect app for that and, you know, to get people to root for you. Justin Bieber doesn't need Selena Gomez. He was Mr. Bieber fever, baby, my world before Selena Gomez. And Selena Gomez was a Disney queen, but let's keep it real. Their music careers, two totally different levels. Justin Bieber was a megastar and household name off the bat. In present day, he could drop a song about peaches figuratively and literally and top the charts or even a song as mid as Yummy. His star power speaks for itself. Selena Gomez doesn't have that same selling power musically and she's leaned into the Jelena thing in a big way. They both have in certain parts of their career, which is normal, relationships reflect art. But take their past few albums for examples. Justin Bieber's last few releases have been about his love for his wife, growing up in the public eye, and some songs just about having fun, whatever. Meanwhile, Selena's latest album release centered on the Jelena narrative heavily, where it was basically the entire selling point of the album. And many people have pointed out that she talked about a teenage relationship, but didn't talk about Francia, the woman who donated her kidney to Selena. You know, actual rare, substantive topics that could broaden the world of Selena Gomez instead of the usual relationship woes. Selena definitely seems hell-bent on this relationship. Justin and Haley have been married for almost half a decade at this point. It's time to leave them alone, stop sicking the fans on them, go to therapy, get a new man, and talk about and obsess over him. There seems to be so much work put into building the narrative and perception of Selena Gomez, and not nearly as much work put into the music itself. She's had some glimmers, some bright spots throughout her career musically, but she's certainly not consistent in anything and even more so in a live setting, despite having over a decade of experience at this point. So her energy could definitely be put towards things that will improve her craft so she doesn't have to use an old burnt out relationship as a crutch and threaten to retire every time she releases music because people don't take her seriously. I'm sorry, it's just a little funny to me. Instead of her putting work in so that she is taken seriously, Selena Gomez has certainly gone through some hard things, but the Jelena shit seems to be her most comfortable mode. There's not much evolution happening in the narrative of Selena Gomez.